I'm Dave Russell. I work with Riverlink. Uh, today we had a cleanup of the French Broad River from the Asheville Outdoor Center to Dean Webb Park. We set out in 15 canoes. Uh, they were populated by a group from AmeriCorps Project Conserve, 30 young adults who are working to make uh, Western North Carolina a better place, working on various uh, environmental issues. Uh, but today they pulled out, I lost count of how many bags of trash, I would estimate about 15. Um, they pulled out about 20 tires, assorted other bottles and cans, uh, including one piece of a toilet. Um, there was a tractor tire in the trailer that I've been unable to get out of the river and I issued the, the damn big tire challenge and they went in there and got the damn big tire out. So that was a, a great thing. You, you probably saw the, the amount of trash that was over there. It was a good day. Um, my name is Margo Walston and I've been living in Asheville for the past four years. Um, and I joined AmeriCorps because I was really excited about the Project Conserve program, which is a unique environmental program. Well, for our service project today, we joined Riverlink um, to pick up some of the trash along the river, and we got to go out in boats to do that. And it was a, a kind of unusual day because the storms from Irene have brought in so much water that the water level was really high. We didn't think we would find that much, but we actually managed to find a lot on the river. We found old cars, lots of tires, um, cushions, chair parts. Uh, we even pulled out a newspaper bin, which was pretty enormous and, and heavy, and took a good a good team building exercise for the start of our AmeriCorps year. My name is Billy Hayes. I work with uh, Asheville City Parks and Rec. Uh, this is one of the parks on my list uh, throughout the day. Uh, I, I had recently skipped this one this morning because I had a bunch of stuff I had to help my supervisor do and take care of. But I come back to this one just a few minutes ago. I just pulled in not too long ago. And I've seen all this and called my supervisor and I told him, I said, there's no way I can put all this on my truck. 